Michael Freudenberg, this is Film Masters. We are now at part 10 of building the apprehension engine. We're going to be building the guitar supports. They're going to go into our frame. So let's get straight into the tutorial. In this episode, we're going to be building the guitar neck support. So we're going to be using the same type of material as we've used for our frame. We'll need two of these. So what I'm going to be doing, again, I'm not going to supply you what the measurements are because it will be based on your actual box. However, we do need to make sure that the middle of the piece of wood is three inches away from the far left of the frame. So I'm just going to mark it. And then I'll put a mark in the middle uh, or the center of my piece of wood that I'll be using for the support. And that is where it's going to line up. I'll just use my marker so that it stands out better in the video so you can see where that three inch mark is. And what it will do, it will allow us, uh, so when we're bolting our two guitar necks down uh, to the board, um, it's going to allow us uh, three inches away from the side, obviously. So I'm just checking it again, it is three inches. And we're going to uh, line it up so that the mark in the middle of the frame is lined up with that three inch mark. And then we're going to measure based on your own box. I'm just gonna push it up against the side here and use a pen on the inside just to mark it. And that will give me an idea of where I need to make the cut. You can obviously use a measuring device just to reconfirm that the actual measurement is correct based on your box. I'm just gonna use a square to square it off. And that part is the part we don't want. So I'm gonna cut on the outside of it. And uh, here's the part after I've cut it and you can see it's a nice firm fit. So that's what you want. You don't want it to be too tight uh, and you don't want it to be obviously too loose uh, because if it's too loose and we're trying to screw it in, then what will happen is it'll pull the sides in and that's something that we don't want to do. So I'm just test fitting it. I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna use my PVA glue, so my trusty wood glue, and I'm just going to glue it down on both ends. So wherever the wood is going to touch against, I wanna make sure that is good adherence with the glue. And I'm going to line it up. So again, I just want that mark in the middle of the wood to line up with that three inch mark. I'm just going to push it in. Now it is slightly a little bit tight. So I am going to use a rubber mallet and just gently tap it. So you can use a normal uh, hammer if you want to, uh, or a piece of wood and just gently tap it with a hammer and uh, until you're happy with getting it in there. Um, I've done that obviously, um, just a few taps just to get it to where I want to get it. And then obviously we're gonna use an old rag and just clean it up. I'm just gonna make sure everything is nice and flush. We want it to be flush uh, and in line with that mark. So you can see I'm gonna gently push it in until I'm happy with where it's sitting. And once you've got that, then it's a matter of, uh, we're going to just make it a measurement and make sure that uh, the measurement is correct all the way through. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna gently tap it. it just needs to go in just a, a little bit more. So I'm just gonna make sure it's all flush again. And you keep on moving in obviously until you're happy, but it needs to be in line with that three inch mark. And make sure it's obviously flush and we don't want it to be raised. So you need to make sure that it is in line with the two frames, the front and the rear frame. And I'm happy with the way it is lining up. And here you can see on the sideway uh, profile that you can see that it's, uh, sitting up nicely and not above the frame. I'm just gonna use a, a scrap piece of timber, the same thickness. I'm just gonna use that with my marker just so I can indicate where I want to put my two screws. I'm gonna put two screws here. Don't put one. It's an idea to put two here because you wanna support it and it will give uh, your neck uh, of your guitar nice strength once it's screwed in. I'm gonna use a drill again uh, just to counter drill where I'm going to put my screws. Now the screws need to be longer than the piece of material that you're using. So my screws are the thickness of my timber plus half again. So that way it goes through the front and then into the timber behind it. Now, when you're screwing these screws and you do need to make sure that you push them in so that they go into the actual timber and they're flush because the soundboard is going to be on the very front of this frame. So you want no overhang from any of the bolts or screws that you've uh, put into it. So one thing you need to make sure in this situation, these are self 
taping screws. So obviously the tighter you tight them, the more they go into the timber. So I screw it in and then at the very end, I really put some uh, pressure behind the actual screw. And you can see here, I've got one that's flush and the other one is sitting out. I can grab that with the nail on my thumb. So what you want to do is get in there, put a ply, some pressure and really push it in and you'll see the actual screw head go straight into that pine timber and now it's nice and flush and I'll show you another close-up now with the close-up you can see uh, that there's nothing overhanging from the screw because I've pushed the screw head straight in applying a bit of pressure and tightening it in and that's what you want to do. So on the back, you won't need to do that because there is no soundboard attached to the back of it. The soundboard will sit on the front and uh, on the sides and the top. And uh, here we are from the back. So I'm going to use that uh, scrap piece of timber that's going to be the same thickness as my frame again. And I'm just going to draw a line that will give me a good indication of where the timber is. And then therefore I can mark uh, my two screws where I'm going to put them right in the center so I know that they won't go too high or too low in the timber itself. And it's just a matter of now countersinking the drill into it, allowing it so that the screws go in without splitting the timber. Uh, you can do it without a drill. Uh, just be mindful though that you're risking splitting your frame and you don't want to split the frame uh, with the wood uh, because it means that you'll have to remove that part and do it again um, or try and patch it up, which is something that you really want to avoid doing. So I'm just speeding up screwing in the screws. You don't need to obviously watch me screw each individual one in. And here we have our top guitar support in place. So we need to add a second one and that goes on our side. Now in the previous video, when we did the sides, I showed you there was a little bit of uh, timber that we cut off and we put it down the base. It's this part here where the red arrow is. Uh, if you cut that correctly and use the correct measurements I gave you, uh, it means that this part will fit perfectly in there, right? Like so. And this is where the second support is going to be. And I'm just going to use a pen, obviously, to mark on the inside where I need to cut it. So it needs to be on the actual inside, and, uh, as you can see. And uh, we'll glue in there. So I'll cut the piece of timber. I won't show you myself cutting it. Uh, however, I will uh, obviously show you how I glue it in there. So here is the piece of timber that I've cut. Uh, as you can see, uh, it fits nice and snug in there. So what I'll be doing is I'll be putting glue on wherever the wood contacts the rest of the frame. So it's going to strengthen the side. Um, however, the main purpose of this piece is so uh, on your guitar necks when we're making those uh, and we screw them in to our soundboard on the left hand side of the frame and to the soundboard on the very top, this piece as well as the previous piece that we've put in is where you're guitar is going to uh, screw into so that it doesn't twist uh, and it gives us a nice strong neck that we are screwing in onto the actual part itself. Once I've got that part nice and straight, I'm going to use an, a rag, obviously, and just clean up any excess glue. Another thing with this side guitar support is we want to make sure it does not uh, stick out on the side of your frame. You want it to be nice and flush with the front uh, and the part underneath it so that uh, when we screw on our soundboard, it's not going to push our soundboard out or make it protrude. I'm just going to use a scrap piece of wood, again, the same thickness as the rest of the frame that I've used to create the box, just to work out where I want to put the screw. In this situation, I'm just going to put one screw in here. I'm going to make sure that it goes all the way in, obviously, uh, so that it's flush against the front, again, because we do not want it to stick out and touch the soundboard. We want that soundboard to be nice and flush and not be vibrating against anything except for the wood that it's actually stuck onto. So I'm gonna use a screw, again, the same thickness and length as the previous screws that I've used for putting in the rest of the guitar supports. And I'm just gonna screw that all the way in. And again, make sure it's nice and flush. Now, if you're wanting to make this part a lot stronger, I'm gonna just use the one screw on each side, which I think is enough uh, to support it. Um, however, if you want to put two in there, you can put two screws in there, uh, similar to what I've done at the top one. So I've turned the box around and we're gonna do the back part of it now. Again, I'm just going to use a scrap piece of timber to work out the approximate thickness of the piece of wood. And I'm gonna mark where I want to drill uh, so I can put that drill or countersink 
drill in before I put the screw in itself. Now it's going to be slightly on an angle and that's okay uh, in this situation. That's because the other piece of wood or the back frame is in the way. Uh, however, um, that's fine. Again, make sure that you do use a drill because if you don't, uh, there's a chance that you may actually split the timber. And it's just a matter of screwing the screw in. Now, because there is no soundboard connected to the back of this, you do not need to make sure that it's flush. So uh, you can just screw it in uh, and then once it's in, that's fine. And then you just let that glue set. And that is part 10 already done. We've got our guitar supports in there ready to go. In the next tutorial, we'll be building the first soundboard that goes onto the left-hand side. So if you want to become a Film Master Subby, it's pretty simple. You can subscribe to the channel. You can like me on Facebook and or on Twitter. And until next time, don't just film it, master it. Ooh.